है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव कवर टॉप टेन अरे मैनुपलेसन टेक्निक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग सुपर सिंपल बट एब्सोल्यूटली इसेंशियल फॉर एवरी डेवलपर्स दैट इज लीनियर सर्च इन अरे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर whether you are a beginner looking to learn array data structure or an experienced developer looking to crack dsa interview then stick around at the end of this video you have clear understanding of linear search in array data structures guys there are two method for the searching in array data structures number 1 linear search and number 2 binary search today we will discuss linear search let's dive right into it first thing first what is linear search well to understand linear search let's take in practical use case let's suppose we have 10 balls and let's name it a b c d e f g h i n j now if i tell you to find out ball i then what would be your approach the simplest way to search the ball one by one from the beginning and move forward until you find the target that's exactly what linear search is so what is linear search in the world of programming The linear search is an algorithm where you go through each element in the array one by one checking if the matches the value you are searching for Let's say we have an array like 7 14 32 5 and 19 and we are looking for the number 5 in the array right in linear search we start from element first that is 7 and keep checking each element until we find value 5 or reach to the end of n array now let's see how it's work step by step step number first start at the first element step number 2 compare the element with the value you are searching for step number 3 if matched congrats you found your target value step number 4 if not move to the next element if step number 5 repeat this process until you found the value or you check every elements in the array in our example we checked element 7 no match then element 14 no match moving forward then element 32 is still no match but when we get to 5 boom we found our target moving forward let's see what this looks like in the code let's take a example in javascript let's create an fun that's a name is linear search this function will accept two arguments number 1 array in which you will perform your search method number 2 target value which you will perform search and inside body of your function we are using a for loop that will iterate entire array elements inside the body of for loop there is one if statement that's its responsible to check the matches of your element if match found it will return the index value of an array if it will not found any value matches then it will return minus 1 that indicate that there is no any match target value found guys now let's run our linear search function with some sample inputs let's suppose we are passing sample array that is 3 4 1 6 and 3 and target value which we will perform in the searching that is 
now in our linear search function the for loop will start iterating from the beginning to the element 6 and when the our for loop will reaches to the element 6 then its index would be 3 then this function will return index value that is 3. Time complexity of linear search. Is linear search is efficient? Now you might be wondering how efficient is linear search. Well, it is not fastest algorithm out here, but it get job done especially for a smaller arrays. The time complexity of linear search that is O of n, where n is the size of n array. This means that the worst case of algorithm will have to check each element once. So the time is taken to run grow linearly with the size of the array. Let's say you have 100 elements. You might have to check all 100 elements. If you have 1000 elements, you have to check all 1000 elements. It's a simple but not always the best choice when you have huge data set. So when should you use linear search? It's a great option when your array is small, the element are not sorted, you don't have to deal with overhead of more complex algorithms. If you have sorted array, though there is more efficient method that is binary search. I will cover this binary search method in our next video. But for unsorted arrays, linear search is simple, effective and get job done. In conclusion, Linear search might not be fastest or the fanciest algorithm out here, but it is a reliable tool for small unsorted arrays. If you are just starting out or working on a simple problem, this is your go-to method. Guys, if you have any questions or doubt on linear search, drop a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more coding tutorials. Next up, we will dive into the binary search and see how to speed things up with the sorted arrays. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video. Until then, happy coding.